Hi, I'm Hong Yu Jun. I'm currently studying electrical and electronic engineering at Unimas. Today, I'm going to do the mini project for my course KNR1042 Measurement and Instrument. So, the project is basically have a comparison between the measure value and the total value. By the way, my metric number is 0575019. So now let's see the schematic diagram. So this is the schematic diagram. There are one voltage source and three resistors in total. So the resistors are 1k ohm each and the voltage source is 1.5 watts. The A2 resistor and A3 resistor are connected in parallel and the A1 resistor are connected in series. So this is the schematic diagram of my project. Now let's see the theoretical calculation first for the voltage values the A2 and A3 are connected in parallel connection so their resistor is equals to 0.5 kilo ohm then the VA1 is used the voltage divider rule to find it so the, uh, the VA1 is equals to 1 watt and the VA2 is equals to 0.5 watt because of the A resistor A2 and resistor A3 are in parallel connection, so the VA2 is equal to VA3 is equal to 0.5 volts. Now for the current values. The total resistance of the mini project is 1.5 kilo ohm. So the total current is equal to 1 milliamp. This is used the ohm's law to find. So the total current is equal to current A1 and the current A2 is equal to 0.5 mA. This is used the current divider rule to find it and current A3 is equal to the total current minus the current A2 which is equal to 0.5 mA also. So now let's build a circuit. So this is the circuit of my project. The battery I fix it with the silicon tap. Then the resistor A1 is connected in series with the wire. And the resistor A2 is connected in parallel. As you can see the connection are in same column. This is the parallel connection for the nodes and the A3 is connected at the same column also so the current will flow through like this from here to here and to the resistor A3 and go to this and go back to the battery now I will start to measure the total voltage of the circuit. So first, turn the multimeter and change the voltage mode. So the total voltage of the circuit is 1.5 to 1.5 5 watts. So now I will measure the voltage for the resistor A1. So the voltage for resistor A1 is 0 0.9 1.01 watts. So now I will measure the partial voltage for resistor A2. So the voltage for resistor A2 is 0.4849. So now I'll measure the 
partial voltage for resistor A3. So the partial voltage for resistor A3 is 0.4 volts. So now I'm going to measure the total current of the project. The total current is same as the current for resistor A1. So first, we turn on the monitor and change to the emitter mode. As you can see, I break the connection between the source and the resistor A1. This is to ensure to measure the current of the A1 resistor. So the total current is 1.0 milliampere. So now I'm going to measure the partial current for resistor A2. So I break the connection between the resistor and the nodes for measure the current. So the current for resistor A2 is 0.5 mA. So now I'm going to measure the partial current for resistor A3. So like just now, I also break the connection between the resistor and the wire to measure the current. So the current for resistor A3 is 0.5 milliamp. So this is the table that records the torque value and the measure value. As you can see, the measure values are slightly different than the theoretical values. This is due to the resistance of the three resistors are not 1k ohm. So now let us measure the actual value for the three resistors. So, the actual value for the resistors are not 1k ohm. 
and this are causing that the theoretical value and the measure value are different compared to each other so the project ends here goodbye and have a nice day